Are you considering a move to the Pacific Northwest and are debating between Portland and Seattle? Or maybe you live in Seattle now and you're finally ready to come to terms with the fact that you are ready to live in a better city. Mm. Did he just say that? Or maybe you just love a good showdown between two worthy opponents. If any of those strike a chord with you, then stick around. So like I said, in this video, we're gonna be focusing in on the Pacific Northwest's two biggest cities, Portland and Seattle. So if you're thinking of making a move to the area and you aren't really sure which city to pick, hopefully after this video, you should have a pretty good idea what makes sense for you. Or if you already live in Seattle and you're thinking of making the move south, then hopefully this video should help in your decision making. We're gonna cover a lot. So grab some snacks, grab some popcorn, grab some drinks because we're gonna go over some basic geography. We're gonna cover the costs of living, including real estate prices. We're gonna talk about public transportation and the population. We'll compare the two climates and even share some interesting facts along the way. Before we cannonball into all of that, I gotta give you my credentials first. I'm a real estate agent here in Portland and my team and I, we absolutely love it when people contact us asking for help with their move up here. So if you're in the early stages of making a move, don't do it alone. Feel free to reach out to us via call, text, or email. We'd absolutely love the opportunity to help you make that a smooth transition and ultimately buy that ideal property to call home. So with that out of the way, let's let the duel begin. Portland is located at the northmost border of the state of Oregon. The city is located on the I-5 freeway and it is divided east to west by the Willamette River, which flows up to the Columbia River on the city's north boundary. Portland sits in a 150 mile long valley with hills and mountains to the east, west, and south. On a clear day, you can see at least two mountains from Portland, which are Mount Hood and Mount St. Helens. The Pacific Ocean is approximately 80 miles to the west of Portland, and overall it is one of the most scenically beautiful places in the whole country. How does Seattle compare? Seattle is in the state of Washington, and it is about three hours to the north of Portland on I-5 as well, and it intersects with I-90 East. It is located on a hilly strip of land with Puget Sound to the west and Washington Lake to the east. The city is surrounded by approximately 200 miles of both freshwater and saltwater coastline. The Olympic and Cascade Mountains are on either side of the city and it is surrounded by many suburbs as well as a close neighboring city of Tacoma to the south. What's the climate like up here? Both Portland and Seattle have relatively temperate climates compared to other parts of the country with damp and rainy winters and beautiful warm summers. Winters are pretty similar in both places. Average lows in the winter for Seattle are about 36 and average lows for Portland are 37. The average highs for the summer months show that Seattle stays a little bit cooler than Portland with an average high of 74 degrees and Portland has an average high of 80 degrees. But don't get me wrong because both cities can get hot as f <gasps> Portland and Seattle can occasionally get extreme weather events like snowstorms or heat waves, but neither of those extremes are the norm. Of course, the Pacific Northwest is known for being rainy. Both cities get around 150 to 160 rainy days per year, but it is very well known that Seattle gets more rain than... Oh my gosh. What's that, Susan? Oh no. Okay, it has been brought to my attention, ladies and gentlemen, that Portland actually gets a tiny bit more rain than Seattle. But honestly, the difference is very marginal. According to usclimatedata.com, Portland gets about 36 inches per year and Seattle gets 34. So who's really gonna keep track anyways? Anecdotally, it seems to rain harder in Seattle than Portland, but I don't know, that's just my own experience. Now, moving on to population. Which is the bigger city? It's Seattle. Seattle has a population of approximately 734,000, whereas Portland is about 641,000. Now, does this metric really matter? Is it something you're actually gonna notice? Well, when it comes to population density, I think you will notice it. Seattle has about 2,800 people per square kilometer, whereas Portland has about 1,600 people per square kilometer. So basically, if you like the real live version of sardines living in a tin can, then go to 
Seattle. If you want a little bit more breathing room, come to Portland. It's really that simple. All right, we can just end the video here, right? All right, I'll keep going, but before I do, make sure you smash that like button or just subscribe if you like what you've been seeing. All right, thanks for doing that. Anyways, moving on to some intangibles. This is where we start to see some noticeable differences. While both cities are very liberal, have amazing food and great coffee scenes, Seattle just feels like a big city, whereas Portland feels like a town, unless you're standing in the middle of downtown. And that's not only because of the density I just mentioned previously, but also because Portland is a city made up of neighborhoods. You have a main street like Alberta Street, Mississippi Avenue, Division Street, a busy street with all the restaurants and bars and stores in one place, surrounded by quiet residential streets. Not to say that Seattle doesn't have nice quiet neighborhoods, especially in the suburbs. They definitely do, but Portland's style and aesthetic just makes it feel like a much smaller town in my opinion. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh your opinion, man. But what about facts? We want facts. Yeah, we want facts. Okay, I'll give you a fact. Portland's better. I'm just kidding. That's just for you to decide. Let's look at the cost of living. It's 21% cheaper to live in Portland than Seattle. See, Portland is better. Watch this. Grocery prices are 8% lower in Portland. Restaurant prices are 25% lower in Portland. Utilities are 13% lower. Public transportation is 9% lower. Childcare is 9% percent lower, rent is 27 percent lower in Portland, and most shockingly real estate prices are 37 percent lower in Portland than Seattle. And get this, homes are still appreciating at the same rate. In the last 12 months real estate prices have appreciated at a rate 2 percent faster than Seattle. So there you have it. You get way more bang for your buck here in Portland than in Seattle. But is it worth it? You get about the same amount of rain in both places. You get about the same amount of beauty and nature in both places. They're only about three hours apart. Seems like a no brainer, right? Well, let's not discount Seattle just yet because there's a few more things we need to talk about. If you are a professional sports fan like I am, you are gonna have fun in Seattle because they have a major league baseball team, a major league soccer team, an NFL team, and a national hockey league team, but no NBA team. Thanks a lot, Oklahoma City. In Portland, we don't have a pro football team, baseball team, or hockey team. Team. However, we make up for it in having an NBA team that the city is extremely loyal to, the good old Portland Trailblazers, as well as a professional soccer team, the Portland Timbers. Also, Portland does have a minor league baseball team as well as a minor league hockey team. So if you're a baseball fan or a hockey fan like I am, you can still get your fix here. By this point in the video, you must be getting hungry. So which city has the best food? According to Wallet Hub, Portland is the number one foodie city in the United States on a list of 180 others. So that settles that. Honestly, Seattle is no slouch because it comes in at number seven on that list, right behind cities like Miami, Austin, and San Francisco. Seattle definitely has some great food, and I think it takes the cake when it comes to seafood, but I don't know, I think the variety and the value you get here in Portland puts it over the top. Portland's relatively lax restrictions on starting a food cart give that a significantly less expensive entry point into the food scene here, compared to brick and mortar restaurants, which can be twice to three times more expensive. So that enables a lot more new and up and coming chefs to start a business. With over 600 food carts spread out all across the city, many of them are unique and top notch. Some of our most popular and established restaurants originated as food carts. But even after all the restaurants and food carts close up shop for the day, you can still find a high quality late night meal anywhere in the city because Oregon has a very unique law that requires all businesses that sell alcohol to also sell food. So naturally, many of the bars here are actually owned and run by chefs. So don't be surprised if you walk into one of the diviest looking bars and they have tasting menu quality food. So since we've covered so much information here, hopefully you've got a decent picture of Portland and Seattle. Let's move on now and get some boots on the ground and go take a look at Selwood, which is one of the best neighborhoods in Portland. I take you on a tour in this video right here. We'll see See you there.